This session has a pirate theme with blue and white markers creating an ocean. The players must dribble into the ocean and perform some ball mastery skill. It could be pullbacks, it could be drabbacks, it could be TikToks. So as soon as they dribble into the ocean, they must perform the ball mastery skills and then move on to the other side of the ocean. Now, the ocean is very important. I've just used blue and white to try and get the actual effect and the feel of an ocean because it's gonna be a reoccurring theme throughout the session. As you can see, this can also be used as a nice little warm-up exercise just to give the kids some time on the ball, some time to build up the confidence and to lay the plans to help them understand the exercises which will be following on after. A natural progression now as we put some treasure into the ocean. So make sure the treasure are different colored markers than the ocean markers. And now the kids have to dribble back to the ocean. They have to take a piece of treasure and then they have to take it back to the other side or from the side that they come from. So as you can see, it's a reoccurring theme. The ocean is still there. The kids are already used to with a format of having to dribble to the ocean. But now we've just added a treasure in there to give them a little extra motivation to go into the river, to turn and to come back. Next will be another development, which you will see in just a moment. From the previous exercise, all of the treasure should be on either side or one side of the ocean. Now, depending on the ability or age of the group, you could have one of the kids doing the job what I'm doing. I'm the pirate in the middle of the ocean. The kids have to dribble the ball through the ocean carrying a piece of treasure and I have to try and stop them from crossing. And if I take their ball away, it means they have to give me their treasure. If they put their foot on the ball to stop the ball before I get to their ball, it means I can't take the ball from them. I can't touch them. That's their safety zone. If they put the ball under control with a foot on top, it means I can't then intercept their ball. So they go from side to side, taking the treasure from the different sides without me capturing them. Okay, so as you can see, we've kept with the pirate theme, we've kept with the treasure theme and it goes nicely into the next development as well. To finish off now, we've got defend the ship. So I'm still the pirate and I'm defending the three goals, which is my pirate ship. So with three goals back to back, as you can see, the kids then have to circle around like sharks. So I've made a red zone on the floor. The kids are not allowed in that red zone until I give the instruction of treasure. When I shout treasure, the kids are allowed to dribble in an attempt to try and score into one of the goals. I then have to block the kids' shots to try and stop them from scoring a goal. You can also make some additions or developments to this exercise. You can have different instructions such as change or shark attack where they have to stop and freeze on the ball just to help them include some of the previous learnings of ball mastery, knowing when to stop, knowing when to turn and just giving them a chance to put some balls in the back of a net. Enjoy. <laughs> 